We are here with Granville T. Woods. And in case you've never heard of him, Granville holds a place in history as one of the most prolific inventors here in America. Thank you, Rhonda. You don't know how much I appreciate being recognized this evening. Well, it's only been 100 years since you've died. I guess it's high time someone took the time to point out your accomplishments. To be honest, Rhonda, during my lifetime I found myself driven to make things and to make things happen. And it wasn't easy during those times. I mean I only formally attended school until age 10. But, informally, school never ended. I can only imagine. I mean you were born slavery was still alive and well here in America. In fact, it didn't end, and we were nine years old. That's true, Rhonda. There were many people who were in bondage at the time. But that was physically. Most people in bondage during my childhood sought freedom through religion. And this freed their spirits. Myself. Personally, I went one step further and sought freedom in science and engineering which freed my mind. Good point. Well, you had a few rivals during the time such as Thomas Edison who attempted to steal some of your intellectual property. How did that make you feel at the time? Well, honestly, it doesn't matter now. Edison and I have long ago patched up our differences in the ethers. But what I don't understand is why so many black folks make so many excuses nowadays. I mean, give me a break. Well, you're entitled to be critical. Anything positive to say to the living before you head back to the ethers? Well, my days of being inventive are over. So, I'll go with something you've all heard before, but only in athletics. What's that? When it comes to making your dreams happen, just do it. No excuses. Thank you, Randall T. Woods. I want to be like you when I go up. Peace. Peace, Rhonda.